This is gross insubordination. Let him have it, men. <laughs> It was only a drill, but to Maniac, it was a full-scale assault on everything he had tried to do with Piper and Russell. Not to worry. Maniac wasn't surrendering. It was more of a retreat. He was going to regroup, rethink, and gather reinforcements. Close the door, Judge! Over, but I was scared of how I looked. Different. Don't become like one of the Westies, Jeffrey. No, I, I won't. But actually, the Westies are just people. You know, even the McNabs are good deep down. Who are the McNabs? Well, they're a family who lives in a bunker, and, and their dad has this cannon, and their whole house is filled with beans and, and prunes, and the beans hide the prunes. That's weird. And, and their kids have a frog who plays baseball. Not very well, but, but he tries. And I have to help him before they turn out as crazy as their father, and I need you to help me do it. So, will you help me? They're nice people, really. Who's nice? The McNabs. Down deep they are. If this story came from anybody but you, what do you need me to do? Come on, I'll tell you on the break. Mars! Yo, fish! Never thought I'd see your pasty face around here again. I just heard something, and I want you to know about it. Yeah, well, let me tell you what I know. You better be scared of me. Because I'm bad. I'm so bad, I'm almost afraid to wake up in the morning because of how bad I might have got overnight. Ain't that right, Mandy? I mean, you're the baddest, Snickers. Don't be calling me no Snickers. You better believe I'm bad. Or I'll just have to prove it. I'm bad, too. I'm so bad, I think I might be half black. Yo, mama. Well, you're a great aunt. What? Well, your distant cousin. This cat's crazy. At least I don't hide where it's safe. Who you say is high? You. Ever cross Hector? No. Well, that's because I, I, I never had a need to. Yeah, right, Snickers. You look here, girl. I'm going to have to... Going to have to what? Cross over to the west side? Aw, oh, he's scared. Forget about your idea, Jeffrey. He won't come. I ain't scared of nothing. And what's this idea? I do it. Don't care what it is. All I wanted you to do was come to a party. That's all, just a little kid's birthday party. That is, if you're bad enough. Tell me when and where. <laughs> Mars Bar will be there. This being the grand finale of our mythic saga, it would be nice to tell you that it began with a fanfare of trumpets or the crackle of musket fire. Ah! But it didn't. You know, I'm Scully said you said he was coming this way. Sorry. What are you guys doing? Taking a bath. Duh. What does it look like we're doing? We thought they got you. Thought they took your beans and left you for dead. Yeah, and then they really did something bad. Something awful, like, like drink your brain. You don't drink brains. Do, too. Just like milkshakes. You drink them with a straw. You hear them sloshing if you shake your head hard enough. Listen. Uh, 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 hey, it's my birthday. Are you coming to my party? Well, well, on one condition. What's that? That I get to bring...
bring somebody with me. Sure, bring everybody. We're gonna party! That night, Piper's birthday celebration began like they all did at the McNabb house, with a blaze of candles atop a homemade founder's cake. It's what happened next that was a little different. Zero. I want to see three of you out of here. Especially you. Ten. All right, fish. Nine. I come over. I did it. Eight. It's done. Seven. And don't you be crossing next week no more. You hear me? Five. You can only see me half back. Four. Come on, guys. It's three. a party. A, a party. One. I saved the beans. I saved the beans. I got a can of And I ain't afraid to use it. It ain't over till I say it's over. And it ain't over yet. Come on, let's go. It's pretty over to me, Easy. Hey, somebody better check his pants. Yeah, I better spool Mars bars now. <laughs> hey, your little friend turned chicken. Come on, bro. Oh, Come on, You all right, big guy? 